so it begins. We finally have our first real look at the One UI 7.0 based on Android 15. From new icons to a brand new camera UI plus some much needed under the hood changes, we will talk about everything in this video. For those who can't wait to try the One UI 7.0 out, you may not have to wait that long because according to Ice Universe, we could see the first One UI 7.0 beta coming out within the end of July or in the first week of August. Galaxy the S24 users will be the first one to get their hands on this big update followed by the S23 users and then slowly but surely the beta will move out to other supported Samsung devices. Okay, let's take a look at the real life look at the One UI 7.0 in action. Starting off with the new icons, we have the gallery icon in both light and dark mode. And it is true, Samsung is now going for that rainbow look, kind of similar to iOS, but still not quite the same. It still looks like a Samsung icon. And then we have a new camera icon, again, in both light and dark mode, which in my opinion looks pretty good. Moving on to the brand new camera UI, we have full screenshots of the actual UI in action. And and right off the bat you can see that everything has been moved right at the bottom so you can access all of your settings like changing megapixels or changing the video resolution down at the bottom the top looks really clean with only two options the flash and the megapixels so you can change from up or down depending on what you like and finally we have a screenshot of a UI which honestly looks very very similar to iOS so you can make your icons look bigger and bolder plus you can also see the new new battery percentage which is again similar to how iOS looks with the percentage inside the icon although I do think you should be able to change the setting. But hold on there's more. One UI 7.0 finally copies a feature from Apple that honestly I really wanted them to bring with the One UI 6.0 but finally we're now getting dynamic island along with live activities. In case you don't know live activities shows you a notification of the active ongoing app App process that you have going on for example if you order uber you should be able to see that on your phone we made a concept of how Samsung's implementation could look last year but of course we don't know how exactly it's gonna be implemented with the one US 7.0 but yeah this is pretty much a feature that I was brought and now Samsung is bringing this with the one US 7.0 along with a version of dynamic island which honestly uh, we'll see how it's gonna look Apart from all this, One UI 7.0 is said to be the smoothest, and I mean the smoothest version of One UI Samsung has ever made with a full-on revamped animation system. Now regarding everything that has been leaked so far with One UI 7.0, Ice Universe still says that the UI as a whole still is very much Samsung's UI. You're not gonna feel like it's turned into iOS. I'm gonna save my final opinion once the actual beta one comes out. With all that we have seen, honestly, I'm glad to see that the live activities feature is finally coming to One UI 7.0. Now we're bound to see some huge Galaxy AI features as well, and the biggest one will be the fully AI version of the Bixby. As we're almost approaching the iPhone 16 season, Samsung is making sure that we have even more Galaxy AI features for the S24 series and for other Samsung devices like the latest Galaxy Fold series. So there we go, our first real look at some of the One UI 7.0 elements including the icons, the camera UI, as well as some more features coming in with even smoother animations on the deck. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe if you're new here. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later, peace out.